Okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Time Warp Art. Um, this is a lovely Tuesday morning. The sun is out. We're going to hit about uh, 75 degrees today. So it's spring. The trees are full of leaves and the squirrels are out and the birds are out and it's just glorious over here. Uh, it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow. So hopefully um, it'll give us some good stuff today though. All right. So uh, yesterday I on Twitter, on Twitter, I found um, a post by Julie Fay Fan Balzer. Okay. She had found uh, a video on the Jelly Arts um, YouTube channel, which I subscribed to and I had already bookmarked it to watch, but I hadn't had a chance to watch yet. So last night I took the time to watch and hopefully I've got this technique down, but it's magazine resist jelly printing. It's the coolest thing. I don't know if y'all have seen this or not, but it's the coolest thing. And then uh, this morning she has a post on her blog uh, and she's got another video in there. And then that led me to something else I want to show you guys. So uh, yeah, I don't know how long I can, I can uh, stay on, but I'll give it a good shot. And even with a couple of interruptions, um, we're, we're still going to do this. Okay. So, um, okay. So I've got a Vogue magazine. All right. And this is the print I'm going to try to pull from. So I've got an eight by 10 jelly plate. I have cleaned it off, washed it with a baby wipe. So it's all nice and spotless. I hope. Um, even if I get a few things on it, that's okay. I've also got my small five by seven, which I have not used yet. Um, I want to try something on that too, but first we're going to use this one and hopefully this technique will come out. We shall see. It's too clean. Well, you know what, Eileen, I have been doing the grunge, right? I've been doing the grunge, um, printing and I really like it. And you can have, uh, you know, your, your plate dirty. Okay. And so <laughs> I'm like, um, yeah, this, this is, I'm going to need two plates. I think I'm going to need two. <laughs> I've got room to keep the second one. I'm just going to have to get some more plexi, but yeah, I've got room to keep it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get a second plate. <laughs> then I won't have to clean it every time I want to try something new. Okay. So uh, magazine page. And the idea is that the paint will resist the ink that's on the page. So let's see, let's see how we're going to do. All right. Um, I haven't pulled any paint out yet. So let me, let me see what I want to do as my first pull. Um, okay. Something says hot pink. I don't know why I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> no, it still has specs. I can see <laughs> it's not that clean. <laughs> okay. I'm going to need some pellet paper. Pull me out. So I'm going to grab some of that. I don't think I've got more than one now. Yep, I do. Okay. Give me a hard time. There we go. All right, so I've got two pieces to start with. Put the pad back in here. That way I won't lose track of it. All right, I need a journal. Okay, let me grab my journal to rare off in the journal. I'm determined to finish this journal. You see this? I am determined. I've got, you know, like that much. I've got, I'm just determined to get it done. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six brayers out here, folks. <laughs> Is that, no, I have seven. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have seven brayers on my counter. Oh my goodness. Seven brayers. Okay. So I'm going to move that over so I can set the journal down. All right. Let me find a page where I can rub stuff off my brayer off. I've got too much on it already. Here's one. All right. This has gesso. Okay. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I just need to oops, be able to bray her off. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
yeah, I've already done my workout. I've done chores. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm all hyper right now because I'm ex really excited about this. Uh, brayers are clean. Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're pretty clean. Um, yeah, well, I'm trying to keep a light one and a dark one so I don't, you know, get some dark stuff where I don't really want it. Uh, okay, because I'm doing some really picky things, so... Okay, I'm trying to find my light pink. There it is. Okay, my light pink. All right. Oh, sorry, Eileen. Pink. Oh, well. <laughs> it's what came into my hand first, okay? Yes, my laundry is done. I did that yesterday and today. So today I get to play. Got the groceries sorted. Well, that was a good thing, getting that done. Man, that was a pita. That was a real pita. Okay, I need the other brayer. I like this one. This one has ink on it. Okay, here, let me get this one. Okay, this one's really clean. I peeled off all the acrylic on this one, so it's really clean. Okay, so, uh, oh, maybe what I should have done was just put it directly on here. Oh, well, I guess it really doesn't matter. I don't think I have enough paint. I've been having an issue with that lately, is not getting enough paint. Okay, we're just going to put it right on here. i got to keep an eye on the... Uh, outside so when mom comes I can not leave her sitting there <laughs> knocking on the door okay and let me grab the pink off of here get that going try to smooth it out I know I get this brayer is not the best one it's um, the Darice brand, I believe, and it's a cheaper one. It's also extremely noisy. I guess y'all can hear that. It's really noisy, and it doesn't um, lay the paint out as nice. So it um, looks like I'm going to have some striations in this. Hmm. What's on this brayer? That is weird. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some more light pink on here. My goodness. Having difficulties already. Okay, second layer of paint. And you see that it's it's getting lines in it. And I'm thinking that, the, that this brayer is not level on the edge. Oh, that's right. I can see that the edges stick up. Okay, that's not good. Do not buy the Dari sprayers, people. Bad news. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, not good at all. Okay, I'm going to switch to the other one. Yeah, I don't like those sprayers at all. Those are just, I'm saving those for the grunge technique. Okay, anyway. Here we go. We're going to put this magazine page down. I don't know which side I want. I guess it really doesn't matter. Okay, put that down. And we're going to lift off the paint. And what we want is for the paint to stay on the, the plate where the ink is. Now, let's see if we can accomplish that. Oh, look, it's working. Ah, oh, look at that. Fabulous. It's working. <laughs> hey, Kimberly. Hey, CBC. Hey, Dorothy. Look at that, guys. Okay, this is funny. This will be fun to play with. Okay, so let me see. Oh, I forgot to set up my clothesline. I got to do that, too. I don't have anywhere to put these things. All right, let me set that down there. Oh, yeah, I was real ready to work. Right. <laughs> okay, so I have to let this dry. Uh, oh, the word Dior. <laughs> Okay, the, the cool thing about this is when you put anything down on the jelly plate, it's like, okay, you know, your, your um, rubber stamps are backwards so that when you print it, it comes out right. Okay, if, you'll look, if you can see this word Dior down here, well, it's going to come out right side when I uh, print it, but it's going to come out right side up. So that's weird. Let me get my fan. 
I've got my little little uh, room fan here, a little desk fan, and I'm gonna just uh, dry that. Yep. Oh, there's mom. Okay. Well, that's perfect timing. This can dry while I'm getting her stuff. Yeah, she's she can't just came from her exercise class, and I don't know where she's going from here, but <laughs> she's gonna pick up some stuff. So while that's drying. I'll let that finish dry, and I will go and uh, do that. I'm going to mute you guys for a, bit, a few minutes. So I will be right back. How am I going to do this? Uh, BRB. Try not to get it in the paint. Okay. And I'm going to mute you guys, and I will be back in a few.
<laughs> here I am talking to you guys and it's muted. <laughs> okay. She's got her groceries and she's heading home now. She's tired. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Woo. Groceries are heavy. Okay. So, uh, now we do a second coat of paint. This is all nice and dry. All right. Did Paula stream last night? I don't know. Hubs and I were watching a new series on Netflix and I didn't check uh, Twitter. Okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for another color of paint. I think I want blue. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get some blue. Oh. Turquoise. Okay, let's have Caribbean Sea and Green Patina. Okay, so we're going to do fresco finish chalk acrylics for the background. Shake them up. No, she didn't stream. Okay, I'm glad I didn't miss it. Maybe she will tonight. I have to pay attention. I thought Hubs was going to stay home and work today, but... Um, he had to go in. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm glad. And, and, you know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know how that goes, right? I'm used to him being gone. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just put it right on here like everybody else does. Just do it, right? See how that finger smear works? Don't know. We shall see and just put it right on there. All right, now I'm gonna get a good brayer. Thank you very much. All right, yes, the speed ball. Yes, good brayer. Much better, no lines. Okay, get this one going. Okay, now we'll see what we have. Let me clear that off on the journal. And grab my paper. And I cut some uh, HP printer paper to, I, I forgot what pound this is, I'll check later, to 8 by 10. But I don't think I like it, the 8 by 10 because I get paint on my hands from the edges and then it messes up the back and if I want to do a double sided print then that's messed up. So, ah, six and one half dozen of the other, whatever. Let's see if this is ready yet. Oh, almost. A little bit more. I saw someone using a, the back of a spoon of course, I have a clean brayer. I could just use that, but this worked. Oh, I can see the Dior. Oh, this is cool, people. Very cool. I didn't get every spec, but most of it. Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> Look at this. All right, it works. <laughs> cool. Ah, uh, love this. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. And then you can finish painting in the faces and do all kinds of things. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm, I need to set up my, uh, hook up my clothesline. And I did get some bigger clips out, so <laughs> I'm not struggling with those. Little tiny black clips. Of course, I'm having to untang oops, untangle my line. There we go. All right. I've got it strung from the bulletin board over to the bookshelf. So we're good. Now let me hang this up. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Now I want to see what it does with a large face like this. Okay. Um, do I need to clean this? Maybe I do. Huh? 
Okay, let me just wipe this off while it's not really hard dried on there. The longer it sits on there, the harder it is to clean off, apparently. Now this plate is the original company, I think. Well, I'm actually not sure <laughs> which company came first. But one is, let's see, the new, well, the new one to me is um, the Jelly Arts, right? Okay, so where did my plate go? There, no. There it is. Okay, so yeah, this is Jail Press. Okay, this is Jelly Arts. That's it. <laughs> I want to be sure and give them both credit. Okay. But I am definitely going to get another large plate. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get 8x10. I may get a larger one. I'm not sure. I'll have to decide that when the time comes, I guess. But right now I just don't know. I like the 8x10 a lot and doing it on the 8x10 these pages will still can be cut down to put into the Canson this is the Canson um, 7x10 journal so it can still be cut down to put in here. I still can't believe those things are so noisy. My goodness. Incredible. Okay, anyway. All right, next. Okay, now I need to decide on a color. I think I want to go with some red. Because she's got red lipstick and a red scarf. See? So let me see. I've got some good red. Um, I actually don't. Huh. I've got some high flow. I'm going to go with Alizarin Crimson Americana. Oh, Shannon already did one? Oh, figures? She's right on top of things, that girl. <laughs> I'm going to have to go watch that. Awesome. Okay, I want some Alizarin Crimson and... What else do I have? I want to put with it. I want to put... I want to put some orange. That's what came into my hand, so that's what we're going to do. Hey, Sherry. <laughs> Hey, Joan. Did I say hi already? Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Don't know. All right. So let's see what we can do with these two colors. Well, that one didn't get mixed up very well. Uh-oh. This is not good. I'm not going to continue using that spot. I'm going to have to shake that paint some more because it's not mixed up. And it does not do well on the jelly prints. It really does not do well at all. So I am going to have to mix this a little bit more. I must not have used this for a really long time. Um, Dorothy, this is what they're calling magazine resist. Okay, let's try this again. Let me put it over here first. Oh, that's better. Much better. Okay. Yeah, got to watch the mixing. I think I should go through and like shake my paints every now and again, just <laughs> because. I'll let that sit there too long. It's going to make a funny thing on the front. There's something else to watch for, people. Don't let your paint sit there too long. Okay, I like to smooth it out. Okay, one more over here. All right, that looks good. Now, sprayer that off into the journal. A lot of paint on there. Okay. All right, now I am going to put the girl. I'm sure I can get her in there. Just go for it. Okay. Smack. <laughs> now these magazine pages get really wet.
so you can see the moisture coming through and they start to wrinkle. So they're getting really wet. Oh, this is fun, people. I love jelly printing. Why did I wait so long? <laughs> Awesomeness. No, not quite ready. This paint is a little thinner. So we may have to wait just a little bit longer for it to do its thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try. Oh, okay, that does not do well. That is not doing well. Yeah, sometimes you just things just don't quite work out. That's okay. It did more of a smear than anything else. Yeah, okay, this one did not do well at all. And I don't know if it's because the paint is too thin or what. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to try a pull anyway and see what, what comes up. I'm going to use a full-size sheet of paper. We'll just see what happens. We may just have nice texture. <laughs> and that's okay, too. That works. Oh, and I do have an idea for the 6x6. Six six. Jess wrinkles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, for the 6x6 six six challenge for this week, it was oh, what splats and drips. Yeah, I've already got an idea for that. But I wanted to do this first. And I have another project I want to do for you guys on Thursday using jelly prints. Not making jelly prints, but using them. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're just going to have nice texture. Not really a picture. This still looks cool, though. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, you can just barely see that there's a face there. Oh, you can see it better on the camera than I can right here. Oh, how weird. You can see it better on the camera. <laughs> oh, gee. Hey, Dar. Oh, man. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to hang it up. Play more with that later. Yeah, I still got, I still have um, mini clothespins, but these are a lot bigger. Oops. And a lot easier to get hold of <laughs> than what I was using, which are cute, but not practical. The little teeny tiny ones. Yeah. <laughs> not practical at all. <laughs> so I'll be taking those off of there later. But yeah. Okay, so I'm wondering now, what can I do with this? I'm going to kiss this into the journal, okay, before it dries completely. I'm going to kiss it into a journal. Let me see if I have a light painted page. Let me see if I can find, I really don't want to do it on a blank one. Okay, here's, here's some yellow on this one. Let's do it on this one. Okay, which means I have to move this doohickey here, over there. Okay. And I know you probably can't see it, but that's okay. We'll just deal. We're just going to do what we got to do here. I just want to kiss it and see if anything's going to come off. I need another piece of paper behind it. Because the wrinkles are just going to rip the paper because the paper's wet. But I'm going to see what happens when we do this. It just adds texture. Okay, interesting. And we still have, she kind of looks like a voodoo person. <laughs> Got lots of streaks on her face. So it just gave texture. It didn't really do anything. Yeah, so that's okay. Everything's an experiment. It's all good. Be able to use it eventually somewhere. Okay, now I've got some red still on here, and um, I'm going to do the shoe. Okay, I want to see how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and use the magenta and a pink. I'm going to need some more magenta. Let me go ahead and shake this again. These have been sitting for way too long. Carrie, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the movie Carrie, yep. That's that's right. 
definitely. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to use the hot pink because it's just because it's hot pink and I want to. <laughs> Blend it really well back there and then smooth it out. Let it go across this time. Okie dokie. And I'm just going to use that page to spray her off. Okay, now let's put the shoe on. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that, but that was cute. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Muse. <laughs> She's awake. Okay, there's the shoe. And this jelly plate, for some reason, likes back and forth and up and down. So it likes verticals and horizontals. I don't know if they actually have a grain to them or not, but <laughs> they seem to prefer up and down and back and forth as opposed to circles. I forget that sometimes I do start doing circles. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, we have a shoe, people. <laughs> we have a shoe. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and here's what the. Uh, takeaway looks like and I'm going to smack that onto a black page that I just passed in this journal there we go there it is okay and this just has black paint so I'm just gonna slap that right down here and burnish it whoops other sheet Oh, look at that. She says it looks good. See, it's not a bird. It's a shoe. <laughs> Even though it's pink. We're all good, aren't we, Eileen? <laughs> well, that didn't come up very much, but that's okay. That was an experiment. So you can just barely see the shoe rub off, but that's okay. This would be good if you'd like transferring an outline. You know, if you just want an outline of something. That'd be good for that. Okay, let's see if I can get that to go on there without sticking. Okay, now, what do I want to put on the background? I want a different blue. I want like a deep blue, like a Mediterranean, or double denim. That'll work. Yeah, double denim. I like these fresco paints a lot. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to let that dry, don't I? Oops. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'll bring my <clears throat> dryer over here. Hello, don't fly away. It won't take long. It's very thin. It won't take long at all. And my fan is very quiet. Oops. I put my next object on the floor. See, this fan is nice because it tilts, so I can just sit it down, aim it toward my jelly plate, and walk away. Like, go get a cup of coffee or something. Yeah. This is cool, people. <laughs> this is really cool. I got another magazine I want to try, but we know the Vogue works. Looking pretty good. And I want to do some experimenting. Okay. So along with this, I want to put um, some kind of texture on here, like from a stencil maybe. Let's see. Let me get one that I haven't washed yet because I don't have my water in here. There we go. This is one of my favorites. I love this stencil. All the little bubbles. I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to put this down and I'm going to do some pouncing if I can find my sponge. There's one. 
Okay, that'll work. Okay, so I want to do that in, I think, the red. Since I have it already shaken up and it's over here on the palette. Oh, sorry. I forgot I'm shaking the camera. Don't pounce too much. Okay. Okay, more paint. I just want a hint of a texture in this corner. I don't want a whole lot. But I can see I'm going to have to do more. Maybe a brush would be better. I'll never learn. Okay, a brush would be better. All right, let me grab a brush. Okay, big brush. All right. Now I need more paint. <laughs> and I got to dry it again. Ah. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still not, but I don't want to put too much paint because then it won't. Okay, so I'm going to brush it up so that all the, or most of the paint is at the top of the stencil. Okay, let's do that. All right, here we go. Okay, we have some texture and then I'm going to flip it over and have the opposite in this corner. I did this the other day with black and I had black circles because I just did it once. And I had black circles for like, well, six or seven hours. Yeah. Let's see where I do. Oh, I'll put some down here. Okay. That may not even show up, but we're going to find out. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. Moving on. Now we've got to dry it. And while that's drying, I will brayer the other paint into the journal. Okay. So I set the fan up over here. And then I'm going to, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to use the paintbrush on the page where the shoe was. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, and I have a water jar. Whoops. Okay, here's a jar. I need some water. Just so happens. I'm going to have to fill that one up. Okay. Oh, I went outside and my hair is all messed up now. In my face. Not good. Okay. Water jar. I'll move that. Okay. That's going to be interesting. No, not quite. Let it keep going. And that's not dry either. I don't, want to, I don't want to mix the red in there. Let's get another one. Oh, I know. I can stick it under there. <laughs> Almost. Hey, Kia Jillian. <laughs> Okay, that's probably dry now. That's good. Yeah, it's good enough. All right. I'm going to put my fan back over there. That little fan is going to get awful of paint now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some out over here. This paint's a little thicker, so get it all the way across the brayer. Okay, now. Yeah, gonna need more. Thought so. I'm learning. Better than putting out way too much. I'm trying to cover the pink. Okay, so I'm gonna smooth it out now. 
Okay, ready for the paper. Here we go. And down. <laughs> oh, scooting. You gotta watch out for paper cuts too, folks. That lot when you're putting your hand along this edge, be careful. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, I can feel the paper getting damp, so it's probably ready. <laughs> awesome. Ah, look at that. That came out good. I like that. I'm very happy with that. Neat. Well, if I'd have thought about that, I'd have covered up that Ralph Lauren there or just wiped it off. Okay. Yeah, we can just wipe it off. So, oh, I love that. Look at that. That is neat. Love that stencil. Okay, I'm going to hang this up. I wish I had a, uh, I could leave the a zip line up permanently, but I have to move it because it's like out in the middle of the room. Okay. Okay. So now I'm wondering, hmm, let me try something. Let's get a piece of baby wipe and let's see if I can remove that. Okay, it's just like scraping off. It's not rubbing off. So, okay, that idea is not going to work. That's only for the wax, which I'll get to. I have to find my pencil. Oh, where is my pencil? Um, I think I took it to the kitchen. Okay, anyway. Okay, that was not going to work. So, I'm going to set that aside over there. So not working. All right, let me see if I can um, pick this up off here with something. Have anything sticky? Nope, I don't have anything sticky. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well let me go ahead and bring your this sheet dry. cleans the brayer off a bit too. Set that down over there. Okay, I'm going to need to clean this off. Okay, bye-bye. Not doing grunge right now. That would have been good, but I've got this other thing on my mind. Okay, so texture works. get most of it. Yeah, isn't this awesome? Ah, these people are brilliant, let me tell you. And on the, ah, what was it again? <laughs> I covered it up again. Yeah, the Gel Press YouTube. Gel Press. Uh, Brigitte is the one who was showing this. And I'm not sure who came up with it originally. Uh, it might have been Brigitte. I don't know. But that's that's who I know right now. Brilliant. Okay, I'll dry it off. I'm going to clean rag around here somewhere. And this jelly plate is getting a little cloudy. Do they do that? Is that normal? I've been using it quite a bit. <laughs> All 
I don't know if they normally do that or not. But. Okay, let me find, oh, here's a good one. That's a black and white. That's a really good one. This is good. You want something that's dark for the resist, and the more black, I think, the better. Let's try this one here. Right here. Okay, we're going to try this one next. Okay, let's see. And I'm sure this this is, I don't know which Vogue this is. Um, it's a big, thick one. September. Yeah, September 2017. It's a big, thick one. It says Anniversary Collector's Edition. Well, I don't collect these things for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, what color to use? Hmm, I think this time we're going to go with, what is this? Car Caribbean Sea. Okay, and there again, these are opaque, the opaque paints. Um, I think the Americana is too. But I like the paper artsy because they're thicker. I mean, I'm sure if I left the, left the Americana open, that they get thicker, but you know. Okay, so I'm gonna put both of these guys down. Bring the brayer. Okay, so the initial coat. So this is what the the um, the color they resist is going to be, right? Not the background. And I want more definition and blending here. Okay, now. Okay, great. Let me layer that out. Okay, here she goes. She's got little spacemen on her jacket. That was cool. Like Lost in Space? Oh, I loved Lost in Space. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't go around. Up and down. Back and forth. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. The magazine page is getting wet, so I'm going to put a an, an sheet of um, the palette paper on top with the slick side down. And just like you're putting, if, you know, if you were using this with matte medium, center out, I think it's going to be the best way to do this to keep your page from wrinkling quite so much. I've got a big wrinkle in the middle all the way up and down. So I'm going to have to be aware of that. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Okay, let me see if I can give this area just a little bit more. Get her face in there. Eh, not happening. Okay. Well, I just got a barely a shadow of a face. I have to do some heavy painting on that one. Okay. Okay, got to dry it. And while that's drying, I'm going to look through the magazine and see if I can find something odd and unusual. Perhaps. Oh, I've got that. Here we go. Something different. We did a shoe. That came out well. Sometimes they have animals and all kinds of neat things in these magazines. Weird. You never know. That's kind of neat. <laughs> 
the smugglers. Try as many different pages as I can think of. You know, the darker the ink, the more it resists. We do know that. The October one, oh my gosh, it was like an inch and a half thick or something, and it weighed four over four pounds. <laughs> yeah, that one lives in the truck. Oh, that would be cool. Whoops, we're falling off the table. The magazine is heavy. This one's not four pounds, but it's pretty heavy. Oh, that one's cool. Okay. Hold off. This should be dry now. Yeah, we're good. Moving on. Setting the fan aside. Okay, I want to get this other stencil. You could do rubber stamps too, but um, I don't have my container of water in here. So, yeah. I'm going to try three layers. Okay. Um, I want a darker layer behind this one. Let me see what I can come up with. What have I got that's really dark? Um, okay, I'm going to go with this dark green, I hope. I don't have enough paper artsy paint to have a dark green yet or a red red. Got to work on that. As I use these other paints up, I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll come up with a nice list. Oops. Okay, desk is getting a little crowded. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And I'm going to do this one not quite as thick because it's going to have to dry. But what I want to do is put some circles like so. And we'll see if this is going to come out. I have no idea what it's going to do. I'm going to grab another piece of paper. And I'm going to grab my extra wide brayer. Let's see. Maybe I'm just going to do it over here. Like so. Maybe. I don't know how that's working. Probably not at all. <laughs> oh, I know what I need. I need deli wrap. That's what I need. Yeah, I need to, that's not working. I need deli wrap. Okay, where is my deli wrap? Here it is. Okay, not the shiny side, the other side. Okay, so you can take the circles out this way. Okay. Hopefully this will work. Do what I want it to do. Okay, be still. Turn around. Was it done? <laughs> okay, I think I got that one done. I'm gonna get it some more. And do a little bit more. A little more. One over here. One more over here. Okay. All right. Now I've got a bunch of dots over there. Now I'm gonna pull this up, and now I have another layer. Okay, so I got a layer of circles. I got a layer of rectangle. Now I'm going to dry that stencil dry. And then we're going to put one last layer. 
I'm gonna pull. How complicated can this get? <laughs> I have a battery powered fan too, but it's noisier. Much noisier. Now I want a lighter color of paint as the last one. Get dry. Almost. <laughs> oh, yes, the fun of watching paint dry, except the fans in the way. <laughs> oh, there goes the phone. Okay, hang on, let me go see who it is while this is drying. But that spot right there needs to dry a little bit more. Okay, I don't recognize the number. I'm not answering it. It's probably, this is your credit card company. No, you're not. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Good deal. Thank you, fan. I just set it on top of the vagabond. Maybe it'll stay there, maybe not. It might fall into the stencils. Oh, no, that's okay. Won't hurt anything. All right, now I need a light coat. I forgot to braid this out. Now I'm going to have to clean this because it's going to be gunky and not smooth. Don't want that. Okay, so I want a lighter color on the back. Now, do I want to do pale green? No, because that's pale green. So, okay, let's go with Titan Buff. Now, where is the Titan Buff? Ah, there you are. Okay, golden Titan Buff. That's going to be my last layer. Somebody type something. I don't know if the chat's still working. It hasn't moved. Okay, lighter paint. Whoops. Lighter rare. Hopefully this will work. paint up here. Okay. Let's put this somewhere. Another page. Okay. That one's pretty clean. We'll set it over there on top of the high flow. Okay, now Paper. Whoops, wrong paper. Don't want that one. This one. <laughs> I grabbed another palette sheet. Is it? Nope. Don't want that. So, <laughs> yes, Judy. <laughs> As this goes up on YouTube, um, this is a live recording with a live chat audience. 
that's who I'm talking to. Sometimes I will laugh, but not tell you why. <laughs> I'm gauging this, I can feel the moisture in the paper increase. And that is telling me, at least for me, this is working, that this is ready to pull. As I, I can feel the, the paper being moist. So, okay, here we go. Ooh, like it so far. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, and the reveal. And see, the face is still going to require a lot of painting in if I want to do that. But I did pretty much accomplish what I thought I might. You can still see her in the background. And then there's this highlight in the circles. So it has actually, there's two. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, next. <laughs> and hang that up. You know, I'm finding that when I'm talking to you guys, when I have an audience, you know, a live audience, I talk louder. And when I do the recordings, it's like I'm whispering. I don't know. I've, I've got to work on that. It's like I forget you know, that I'm supposed to be speaking up. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have noticed that, but I did. <laughs> okay, that's actually a pretty, pretty cleaned off jelly plate. Let me get a little piece of tape and I can get that. Let me see if this painter's tape will take it off. There it goes. Yay. Okay, I just need to clean up the edges a bit. Although it really doesn't matter, I'm going to cut it off anyway. Or edge it with something. Anyway. Just aesthetically. Get it. All right. So, the, yes, the painter's tape does work. Scotch tape works the best. Uh, packing tape does work, but it loses its sticky much faster than the scotch tape. So, I like the scotch tape. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. All right, now I want to try this one. And I want to see what it's going to do. Because I don't know. Is that dark enough or not? Huh. Let me brayer out this page and change it. Okay. Put that in there. Almost got another background on the journal page. I got very few pages that don't have something on them, so that's a good thing. That means I'm gonna fill this up this year and finish it. I've already started, you know, more, but I wanna finish that one. Okay, now color-wise, all right, we're gonna change and we're gonna go with We're going to go with some yellow submarine and terracotta. Now, these are translucent, so I want to see what this is going to do. Let me shake them up a little bit. I've been using them, but I'm going to shake it up a bit. So we'll see if this hand comes out. Not sure. And it's got a great background, too. Um, it's not light, light background, but we'll see what that does. And then I was too, I was thinking about if we cut this out, you know, if we fussy cut this out. Hmm, okay, that's a thought to try later. Okay, one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. All right, uh, let me see. I do not want to get green in here, so I'm going to change this out. Or the sheet I picked up a while ago. And I'm going to slip that under my flexi so it holds it down from the fan and it doesn't blow away. All right, now I need to get, uh, I'm going to do the yellow, the bright yellow submarine at the bottom, I think. This time I'm going to do it right on here. And then put the terracotta on the top. It'll come out. Here we go. 
There we are. Okay. Go ahead and close them. Okay, now I need, I'm going to get this uh, noisy brayer because I don't really care about the lines at this moment. Okay, so let's do this one first. Noisy brayer. Thank you very much. Whew. Sorry. The other ones are still too wet to use at this moment. Looks like butterscotch candy. Oh my. You know those Werther's hard candies? Oh, I love those things. They have sugar-free, too. Let me see if I can just get that texture out of there. So it kind of has like a plaid texture is what I'm looking at right now. That's kind of weird. Huh. Very strange. Okay, let me go ahead and layer this off. I don't have time to flip the journal. I need to get this on there. Okay, now I am going to leave that on there because I need it to pull and I can always take off the Tiffany, but I need the hand a little to the left and I want to make sure I get the whole top of it down. Okay, here we go. Now the magazine page. Let me see if this does any good. Oh, okay, that was bad. Don't do that, people. <laughs> that was bad. This is new. This is a new brayer, and it stuck completely to the magazine paper. Oh, my. That was interesting. <laughs> okay, we won't be doing that. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, hopefully that didn't mess up anything too badly. And at least find out if <laughs> the experiment's going to work. Okay, so I'll get another sheet of the palette uh, <clears throat> <Hellette> paper. <laughs> oh dear. Interesting. Hmm. We learn all kinds of things when we play. That's the whole point, right? And when you really want to do something special, you've got the knowledge. You also know what not to do. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Okay, I see a hand. I see a lot of background. I see an arm, but the hand really didn't come out. Okay, it didn't really resist on the hand. I think it's too light. So you can barely see that there's the finger sticking up. Like you can just barely see that she's doing this. So it's okay. Um, that's kind of a fail. So let's see what else we can play with that one. Let's see how else we can do something with what's down here. Cause this is not really, yeah, it's not really doing anything. Oh, wrong way. Yeah. See, you can't really, can't really see. Hmm. Okay. So let's just make something else out of it. All right. All right, I've got some. Since this is already on the brayer. Oh, come on. I'm going to go ahead and use the darker one. This is a paper doily, which hopefully. catch enough of it that it shows up. Oh, it does. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit right here because I do have one more paint left. But okay, we learned a lesson. Do not use a fresh silicone brayer on magazine paper. It sticks. <laughs> okay, roll that out. Noisy brayer. Oh my goodness. Noisy, noisy, noisy. Okay, now I gotta dry that, right? Right. Okay, gotta dry it. And I think what I might do. 
Yeah, it's a nice sprayer, but it doesn't work on the magazine paper. You gotta put a layer between it, apparently. Maybe a maybe a um, deli sheet might work better, or parchment paper, or you know something like that, something that has a slicker surface next to the silicone. Well, maybe I just need to roll it in the dirt <laughs> so it won't stick. Take a dryer sheet to it. <laughs> it's getting there. It's got a spot right here, though. It's kind of thick. And I want to leave it. So, have a little patience. Try that one. I'm still waiting for my Seth After embossing powder set. It hasn't gotten here yet. I'm going to have to send him an email. It's been over two weeks since he sent an email that it was going to be shipped from Canada from the manufacturer. But it's not here yet. So I'm going to have to ask him for an update. Oh, and don't forget, guys, he's going to be, Seth After is going to be on with Barb um, next Friday, April 6th. Um, don't forget that. He's going to be live with her. I kind of wanted to get my embossing powder so I could ask questions, but I can't ask questions if I can't use them. Ooh, it's warm in here. I've got the overhead light and my lamp. And my lamp has, um, it's the Ott lamp. It has the two long bulbs and they um, move side to side. And then it has the bendable arm. That is almost there. And I love it because it's not in my eyes. It's focused on the work and it's spread out. My countertop is four feet long and so it's kind of spread out um, right in the middle and it lights all of it up really nicely. Okay. Put the fan on me for a minute. My goodness. It's warm in here. I'm kind of in a corner so it, it gets really warm on this side of the house all the time. And the sun is on behind me, so yeah, it does that. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple more pieces of palette paper out. Get that back where I can find it, and if I can separate these guys, there we go. Let's put them back over here. Let me just grab them. Okay. This is dry now. Let's see what we can play with. Um, I guess we're going to do some grunge because this is just, this has not worked well at all um, as far as resist goes. So let's see. What do I want to put behind it? Hmm. Okay, let me look behind me. Uh, oh, here. I know. The cat orange. Let's try this. Oh, 3 30 a.m. You're welcome, CBC. Good night. Oh, something's gotten embedded in the paint there. Huh. That's funny. Never noticed that before. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, so I'm going to put out a lot of orange. Now, this is thinner, too, so. This is not my final layer. I am going to just put it on like so and let it do its thing however it wants. I'm not trying to get it solid since this is not my last layer. Now I have to dry this.
So this one is cadmium orange in Americana. See the thinner, yeah, the thinner paints don't work quite as well. Um, I need to get the uh, maybe the orange and the Dina Wakeley. Oh, I know. My last layer should be the magenta. Yeah, I hung all my Dina Wakeley paints back up on the on the wall. They have a like plastic thing you can hang them from, and um, I've got them hanging up there off the shelf. Works well. I can see them all. I can grab whichever one I need. And I only have to take like four steps. <laughs> oh, I know the problem. The air conditioner doesn't think it's hot enough to come on because the sun is not out anymore. <laughs> and it's only like 70 three or something like that outside. So the air conditioner doesn't think it's warm in here. Oh, there it comes. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, central air is a big thing here. Texas gets hot and humid. The humidity is building because it's supposed to rain. It's like a 100% chance of rain this afternoon. Yeah, my husband couldn't ride the motorcycle because it's going to rain. He checks the radar before he leaves. <laughs> Every night, check the weather. In the morning, check the radar. Of course, the whole month, the weather people have not been accurate in the least. It's gotten down to, it was 37 here, oh, I don't know, a week or so ago. But it's been getting in, you know, 80. It got 88 two days ago. Holy moly. But it was dry air, so it wasn't so bad. But the air conditioner started functioning properly, so that was good. <laughs> we had sun. Yeah, I think we had sun for about a week. Then it started getting cloudy. Yesterday, I hardly saw the sun at all. But it didn't rain. Oh, it may have during the night, I don't know. Oh, there was uh, helicopters flying over the house um, night before last. So about 11.30, I kept hearing helicopters. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And for about three hours, I went to bed, you know, about midnight or so. And, uh, you know, I could still hear them, but they weren't really bothering me. So I went ahead and went to sleep. Well, 2 a.m., they woke us up because, like, they were right over the house. And I'm like, what on earth? Well, there had been a shooting, I found out. <laughs> There had been a shooting. I'm like, oh no. Because <laughs> sometimes when you hear helicopters, you want to go outside and see it, right? Well, that's a bad thing to do. So we didn't go outside. At 2 a.m., no, we're not going outside. But yeah, there had been a shooting. So some idiot. I don't know what his story was. They haven't said yet. It's like, they don't know. But it's like, oh man. Couple spots over here, not quite dry enough. This little fan, it gets heavy <laughs> when you hold it that long. Or the other hand. That's why I like it that it tilts. You can sit it down, but I'm trying to hurry it. So I'm going to focus the air. What would we do without electricity, people? <laughs> hey, 
Kathy. Watching paint dry. <laughs> One of our favorite pastimes. Yeah, I'm going to do a grungy pull because the page didn't work. So I'm going to salvage it by doing something else with it. Okay, good enough. All right. Now, what did I say I was going to use? Oh, magenta. Okay, hold on. Where is it? There it is. Actually, I'm going to grab the ruby, too. So I've got the Dean Wakely now, uh, magenta, and ruby. Okay, so we'll see what we can do with this. Let me go ahead and just squirt it out over here. This will be my final layer. So you don't, won't really see that much of it. This one first. Really thick. <laughs> really thick. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wear some of that off. That is really thick. Thin it down some. So well, this brayer sheet's going to be really pretty. If I can get this blended a little more. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. And brayer that off. Do not like these brayers. Nope, not at all. Not one little bit. I have another sheet somewhere under here. There, it has red on it. So I'm going to brayer some more. There's a lot of paint on here from that paint. Magenta. Oh, this noisy brayer, I swear. Well, can't throw them away till I get replacements. So. I'll have to deal with it. Okay, so I need a clean sheet of paper. And do this is a grunge layer, so hopefully. Keep our fingers crossed so that it will all come up. Oh, this is very cool, Kathy. I love this. I'll show them. I've got them hanging to dry. I'll, I'll show them. I love the shoe. The shoe is my favorite. <laughs> this is pretty thick paper. It's an HP printer paper. It's just what I happen to have. I've also got some from Staples that's uh, pretty thick too. I usually use this to like print coloring pages and stuff on. Okay, I think it might be ready. No, not quite. A little more. That's the thing with a thicker paper. Oh, you watched the video? Yeah. It's very cool. Very cool. Love it. But this is just a grunge page right now. The print didn't work. I can let that sit there just a minute. So what we tried to do, see the hand? Okay. I tried to get this one to work, but it wasn't dark enough. There's not enough dark ink on the page. And I think that is going to be a big issue and whether this works or not. Um, this is also a magazine page where this came out really well because it was really dark, but her face didn't. And I think she had blonde hair. So that didn't really work that well. So that's just, just some of the things that are an issue. You have to watch for the, the amount of dark ink. Of course, the more black, the better. Okay, it's filling damp now. Let me try this corner. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do it. So this is just a grunge page. And yeah, less than successful, but that's okay. It's a background. 
Yeah, it's just colors. You didn't really see the hand or you know anything like that. It didn't really come out. The doily didn't come out that well, so I used a paper doily. So yeah, okay. So, eh. Oh, someone printed a photo on an inkjet and did it. Yeah, I figured that would work. I just haven't uh, haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, uh, because I've done transfers um, on different different things. Now, what I use for transfers is the um, the palette sheet. I'm gonna let that dry. This is what I use for doing inkjet any kind of inkjet transfers. You just stick this in the printer. Well, of course, you got to cut it down a little bit, but you stick this in the printer with the um, shiny side, you know, to be printed on. And your print, you can do rub-ons, make rub-ons. I've probably got that in a video somewhere on YouTube um, to do rub-ons that way. And yeah, I bet you it would work perfectly with this. I'm definitely going to have to try that. That would be awesome. Okay, so since I've got this grungy, I don't know whether to flip it over and keep going. I think maybe I will just do that. Oh, I know. I've got my 5x7. Let's try the 5x7. Okay, I will save this for later. I'm going to get my 5x7. See if I can find some place to put this. my Ikea card out of the way. There. Okay. I just opened the drawer and set it on top. It's a branch shelf. <laughs> okay, now I misplaced my 5x7 again. There it is. Now let's see if I can find something to stick it to. Um, hmm. I know I have more plexi in here. I'm just not sure if it's cut down to fit on the desk. Let's see. That won't work. Let's see. Yeah, that might work, but it's too big. All right, well, we will just do the best we can with what we got. All right. Noisy. <laughs> pretzels. Who's talking about pretzels? They're all making me hungry. <laughs> okay, so let's do. Set that out of the way. Let's lose this little guy. Okay, so I am going to pull sheet off. I'm going to have to stick it to something because see how slick it is? That's not going to work. That is really not going to work. I'm going to have to find something to stick it to. How about a cookie sheet? Uh, let's see. All of my little ones are in use. Uh, here's one. It just has paper stacked in it so I will just unstack the paper. Okay, hold on. Craft a lamp. <laughs> I'm holding it. Ah. Okay. Woo. All right, that was not good. Uh, big mess later. Oh well. Okay, so is this. Oh, that's not going to work for the camera. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay. That'll work. All right, so um, I'm going to do it. Let's do it sideways. No, I'm going to do it this way. Maybe we should stick it to the bottom of it. Here, flip it over. We'll go this way. All right, let me do this. Let me set it on here first. Okay. Now I'm going to stick this up here and grab a little piece of painter's tape. All right, I'll keep the glare off. Okay, now let me see if I can get this piece off. Come on. I've never used this yet. I just got it. So, oh, this is a 
tough, tough one. Ah. Oof, okay, that's the thick side. All right. Okay, here we go. Here's our little jelly plate. There's our paper to block the glare, I hope. Okay, so I have a smaller area. This is rings. And now I'm thinking this is not going to work because there's not enough dark ink on here for that to work. So I'm going to have to find something else. Okay, let's get into my Vogue magazine here and find something with enough dark ink that will print small. Hunting for an object. Hmm, that's interesting. With a boot. And this again is the September 17 Vogue. I want something with, I don't want a negative actually. Find something dark enough that will fit. Well, there's a leg and a shoe, but now that's not a good subject. Keep trying. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Okay, I can try white. That's a good idea. Anybody else have any suggestions? <laughs> Okay, here's a lady that she might fit on there. Thing I, I have noticed if you get a shadow on the face, it might come out better. And you can see the face a little more. Well, there's one right there. Let's see if I can get a bigger face. Oh, to be able to turn pages faster. That's nice right there. Okay. Here's a series of... Her face really is too light. Okay, let me put that one aside. Try it again. Not enough shadows on her face. Got to have enough dark ink on the face for it to show up. Okay, these guys might work. Let's try this one. Yeah. Okay, these guys might work. She's got some shadow in her hair and see her eyebrows and her mouth. So let's try this one. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, uh, Kathy wants to try white paint. Okay, so let's try white. This is thicker paint, but you never know. I shake everything up. Okay, I don't want the red, so let's move that. Let it sit over there. And we'll put this page under the cookie sheet. Okay, these are just little cookie sheets I got at the dollar store. I've got a whole bunch of them. I use them to stack things. Okay, so let's try a base of white. And I need a semi-clean dry brayer. Okay, I got my small brayer. We'll just use this one. And the lighter you do this, the smoother your coat. Okay, set that over there. Now, um, I have to put them on sideways. Let's see how am I going to get that in there? Meeny, meeny, miny, just go for it. <laughs> okay. 
Now let's see if we got enough resist to actually see a picture. Hmm. We got more texture than anything else. Maybe I had my paint too thick. Yeah, that did not work at all. <laughs> yeah, all I got was texture. That didn't work at all. Okay, hmm, interesting. All right, moving on. Um, let's see if I can smooth that back out and let's try something on top of that. Okay, let me see what I can find. There's some legs. Let's try some legs. <laughs> okay, I gotta see if I can tell where they are. Okay, let's try this. Not that it's gonna work, it's just, uh, I think I might have had my paint too thick. On that one. Okay, this feels better. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. We got it. Paint was too thick. There we go. Ta da! Legs. <laughs> we have legs. <laughs> We also have a word. What do we have? Uh, L'enchant. Okay. <laughs> but here's the picture. Okay. And there's the image we got. Okay. So your paint cannot be too thick and you have to have enough dark ink in the first place for it to be a resist. It's not going to resist the light backgrounds. It just won't. All you're going to get is texture. Okay. So we have legs. Okay, now we gotta get this to dry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with legs, but uh, I'll figure something out. They're walking. There we go. That'll be good. Walking legs. <laughs> walking legs is good. Open the brighter a little bit. I'm going to change the journal page to something I can actually brayer off on. Let's see. Yeah, there's still a few more blank ones. Oh, here's something. Let's see, yellow page. It's got yellow and green on it. <laughs> okay. Just to try, it shouldn't take too long. This is neat. I'm loving this. <laughs> oh, my legs are starting to say, okay. How long have I been on here? Oh, an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, that's probably, long. this will be my last one for right now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to sit down. And it's almost lunchtime. So that'd be good. Get some lunch. Um, I do have another project I wanted to do. Is anybody else supposed to stream today? Maybe I should just get off of here and let someone else come on. <laughs> but I won't mind coming back if nobody else is going to stream. I just need to take a 20-30 oh, minute break. Get something to eat. Y'all finding some brayers? Okay. That's a good one right there. Now, what if we do, since we have a white image, we can do anything on the back of this. Hmm. What shall we do? Okay, what color do y'all want on the back? And I'll see if I have it. <laughs> 
What color do you want on the back? That is a really good image. That came out really well. I'm very happy with it. I know there's a lag. Oh, it's raining already. When's supposed to rain till later? I'll tell you, these weather people <laughs> have no idea. Anybody see a color yet? Come on, y'all, give me a color. Give me a color. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make up my own mind. I'm just going to close my eyes and pick one. How's that? Okay, what did I pull? Oh, Blue Lagoon. Hello. Okay, so we're going to have Blue Lagoon. <laughs> well, Ocean Sea or Aqua. Hey, close enough. But Eileen said green. Too late. <laughs> Too late. I didn't see it. Okay, yellow is not my favorite of colors. <sighs> All right, so I am going to put it on the sheet. I forgot, this is a small one. Don't need quite so much. Oops. Covering the legs. <laughs> and the words, long shawl. Makes me want to do an Eiffel Tower. I wish I had taken French in school, but I wasn't interested in that at the time. I'd like to go there. <laughs> okay, need a piece of paper. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Down. Okay, I have no idea how to say that. Uh, apparently you're Deb. Hi. <laughs> but I don't know how to say that. P-U-T-E-R-B. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Pewter B? Computer? I don't know. I have to wait to see if you respond to that. <laughs> I don't have any idea how to pronounce it. But hi, Deb. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, I can feel it getting moist. And this is a criteria for my paper. I don't know if you guys, you know, what will work for you guys, but that's what I am feeling. When it starts to seep into the paper is when I'm gonna do a pull. Okay, I think it's ready. Oh, it's not stuck well enough to the cookie sheet. Okay. Oh, yeah, it didn't stick well enough to the cookie sheet, but hey, we have legs. There we go. We have Blue Lagoon and white legs. <laughs> and see, Longchamp. There we go. <laughs> Too funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me show you the other ones before I go. Okay, I'm going to move this so I don't stick anything to it accidentally. Okay, so here's what we did. Okay, here's the first one. There were three models on the page. 
This was a Dior ad. <laughs> this is the one where her face and her hair was really light, but her clothes came out. And then I did some texture. So we did three layers on this one. And here's the shoe. This is my favorite. I did a stencil on here as well. So this is two layers though. So I did the pull on here and then I put the stencil down and then more paint. Oh, technically is that three layers? Maybe it is three layers. I don't know. And then this one, y'all can see it better than I can. Um, I don't know why, but y'all can see the face. <laughs> And she's got her arm over her head. But you guys can see that better than I can here. It's so funny. It comes out like that on the camera. I don't. Maybe it's because it's smaller. I don't know. It's, it's weird how that works. <laughs> but anyway, this has been fun. And uh, I will definitely keep, uh, keep playing with this and see what else I can come up with. But I have so many things to do. Oh, my goodness. So, uh. Yeah, you can see the face. It's like it's got more pattern in it because the the page was getting wet. <laughs> it's kind of like a one of those things where you tilt, you know. <laughs> you see, it. I don't know, but anyway, that's my favorite. The shoe is my favorite. That's so cool. Love that. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here and go have some lunch. And uh, if anybody else wants to stream, be sure and tweet. I'll be checking. All right, appreciate y'all hanging out. I will see y'all later.